In this video, I'm gonna go over five things you need to know before starting a successful faceless YouTube channel. Faceless channels are a great place to start for new creators. And if you're watching this and you don't really know what a faceless YouTube channel is, I put a link in the description to a totally free course I made to help you get started with your own faceless YouTube channel if that's something you're interested in. All right, so let's get into the five things you gotta know before starting your faceless channel. First thing is you gotta know that what works for one channel might not work for you. So I talk to a lot of my friends and people who follow my various YouTube channels about starting channels for themselves. And what I hear a lot is people showing me a channel from another successful creator and saying, you see that channel? That channel is basically gonna be exactly what my channel is, just instead of that guy making it, it's gonna be me. And I get it. Taking inspiration from other channels that you love can be an amazing motivator. I'm all for that. But the reality of being a YouTuber is that it's a lot of work filled with a lot of nuance based on the types of videos you're making and your skill level. So what works for one creator and what one creator enjoys creating might not jive too well with you. You might start creating videos on a topic you think you love and 10 videos in, you don't love it so much or it just kind of becomes a drag for you to make that type of video. You won't know that until you start. So looking at another channel and saying, I'm gonna do exactly that, is kind of a flawed way to go about things. So make sure you go about creating your faceless channel with an open mind. Look for things that suit you. Look for topics you're interested in, videos you enjoy making, and, and try to find that secret sauce that'll make your channel unique and something you enjoy doing for years to come. Second thing you gotta know is to not over plan before starting your channel. Like 99% of the people I talk to who are thinking about starting a channel, either faceless or not faceless, spend so much time planning before they get started. In most cases, I feel like they're over planning. The reality of starting your own faceless YouTube channel is that you cannot plan for everything. You just don't know what you don't know. If this is your first channel, this is probably something new to you. It's a new skill set, and part of growing into a successful channel comes from learning by doing. Learning by seeing what you suck at, improving on the things you want to improve on. You gotta do to improve. You can't just plan your way into it. So don't over plan. At some point, you just gotta take that leap of faith and start making your first video. And odds are, it's not gonna be great, but the sooner you do that, the sooner you'll get to the point where you have improved to making some really awesome content. Third thing you need to know is that you should be responding to every comment. Of everything on this list, this is the tip that I resonate with the most. Respond to every comment you get. Obviously, you're gonna get some hate comments, some negativity, some people just trolling you. Yeah, you don't really need to respond to those. But every genuine comment, people asking questions, people starting the conversation, people you know making a suggestion on a future video, you should really make it a priority to respond to everyone. And the reason the reasons for this are are many, but probably the most compelling is that every comment you get is a person who's taken the time to acknowledge your work by engaging with it. These people took time out of their day to validate you. So at the very least, you should respond because of that. But there are other reasons. By responding, you help foster a community in your comment section, which helps build a following of loyal viewers, fans even. It'll also get people to like you. It'll build trust or people will just be straight up surprised that you responded and subscribe to the channel because of it. I've had a lot of people respond to my respond to their comments saying, hey, never thought you'd respond to me. I'm subscribed because of that. And that's awesome. Ultimately, it's just a small thing you can do that's a win-win. It's great for you as a creator and it's honestly great for your viewers. It's showing them that you care about them and you, you appreciate the engagement. Honestly, just do it, respond to every comment, thank me later. Fourth thing you need to know is that there will be comments that try to tear you down. And the thing you need to know about that is you can't let them. When you start a faceless YouTube channel, just like starting a regular channel, you are putting content out there and exposing it to all the nice people in the world, but also all the shitty people in the world. And no matter how much of an angel you are, I'm telling you right now, you are gonna get some nasty comments. Negative comments, nasty comments, skeptical comments, comments that just don't make any sense, you're gonna get them all. 
It's crazy, but there will be people who are trying to wage war with you in the comment section. They're going to try to do that, but honestly, they're just online angry people. Ignore them. I find the best way to deal with them, because I like responding to every comment, even those, is to just kill them with kindness. It'll either defuse the situation right there, or it'll rally the troops up and people will come to your aid in the comment section. It's pretty funny. Don't take it personally is basically what I'm trying to tell you. All right, so the fifth thing you need to know is that you still need to provide them with value. Just because with faceless YouTube channels, you don't need to be in front of the camera, you can outsource certain stuff and you don't need as much expensive camera gear, you still need to provide value in your videos and make sure you're not cutting any corners. Faceless or not, when you're creating videos, you need to be focused on the value your videos provide, who wants that value, and putting together your faceless videos in such a way that delivers that value and that message as effectively as possible. Focus on that and people will love you for your content. So those are five things you need to know before starting your own successful faceless YouTube channel. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, actually liking the video and leaving me a little subscribe would be really nice. This channel is all about YouTube, creative entrepreneurship, and photography. So if any of that vibes with what you're interested in, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.